Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee, and today's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, I do want to show you something, though, that is totally hilarious. I've already let the chickens out, and I couldn't find the leghorn. I'm like, where's the leghorn? Well, I found her. I didn't film, I didn't have my camera with me um, when I found her, but I'm going to show you where I found her. Look at that. That is absolutely hilarious. I know that one white egg, this white egg was from today, but all these other crazy chickens are getting up here and laying eggs. No wonder the egg count yesterday was so, so small. <laughs> I found her underneath. There was a big black garbage bag over that seat, and I'm going to remove those seats eventually once I get the right tool to get the bolts off but she was in there underneath the uh, black garbage bag sitting on the van seat just laying an egg and when I found her I didn't see that there were any other eggs underneath of there well once she hopped off and I went back to check I found all those eggs there and that is just hilarious so um uh, whatever you know uh, I'm just going to have to check there. I did remove the garbage bag um, because I really don't want them laying in that area because that's where they roost. Um, and plus, I'm going to be removing the seats eventually anyhow. But I, I just thought that was so funny. So anyhow, there's a new routine with the dogs. Uh, I'm not getting rid of any of my dogs. I love them all. Um, and I'm not going to go scorched earth with the dogs. What are you guys doing over there? <laughs> I'm not going to go scorched earth with the dogs just because they have a bad owner and because the owner <laughs> didn't teach them thoroughly enough, didn't teach them consistently enough what to do and what not to do. So I'm working with them now, but it, it happened, so I'm not going to let it happen again, and I don't want to lock my chickens up. Um, I want them to be able to free range. So, the dogs are not going to be allowed to roam free all the time anymore at all. Yesterday, I let them out in the yard in front of the tiny house. Um, I didn't let them out running in the morning. Um, but that yesterday evening, after all the chickens had gone back up into their coops, I let the dogs out to have a nice run. And then they came back and came inside and there was absolutely no drama. Um, and so this morning, I did the same thing. Before the chicken, before I let the chickens out, I let the dogs out, let them run in the yard, run around, get some exercise. They all come back. They ate their food. And I did separate them for feeding purposes. I let Papa inside the tiny house. I put Junior's bowl. Well, first Junior came back, and then Sonny came back later. Put Junior's bowl outside, and he ate out there. And then once uh, Sonny came, I left his bowl outside, and he got to eat his share. Um, and so now the gate's locked, and um, I'm not going to let them just run free. Because what happens, since Papa, he's such a social dog, and he loves to go find other dogs, and then the dogs follow him back. Um, my neighbor's dogs next door, who I love, and I'm glad they're there because they're keeping predators at bay, um, they don't hardly ever come over here unless Papa goes over there first and brings them back. So I think this is going to be better for everybody. I mean, Mr. Lucas doesn't want a pack of dogs on his property all the time. The people that are staying in the RV over there, oh, while they're, get their, they're getting a house built, and so they're staying up on that property until it's done. They've got little dogs. They don't want a bunch of dogs running over there. So I'm going to contain mine, um, except for first thing in the morning. I'm going to let them out and run. Last night, uh, last before uh, evening, I'm going to let them out and let them run, and I'm going to supervise them. I think it's going to keep everybody more safe and more happy. I mean, who's to say that they wouldn't be running across the street and getting Mr. Lucas's chickens? So, um, not going to let it happen, and I don't want to penalize my chickens. Um, as far as other predators, there's no, there's been no other predator attacks um, with all these dogs roaming around. Predators just don't come here. I don't see any raccoons anymore. I don't see any... Uh, fox anymore. Um, I've never seen a coyote up on my property, but I know they're in the area because I can hear them at nighttime. So anyhow, that's that's the adjustment that I've made. I'm going to bolster the yard inside. I did put some chicken wire up, but that's not going to be enough to keep the puppies. Um, I think I'm going to take that really heavy duty gauged um, 
fencing from outside the chicken area and wrap it around the inside of the the my front yard you know um, so that, that the puppies can't get out um, and I'm doing a lot of supervising and teaching and it seems to be working so anyhow uh, yeah I gotta get going I've been wanting to increase the egg intake of my dogs and they get scrambled eggs every now and then because they are very very good for dogs a lot of people say just feed them um, raw eggs but no uh, that's actually kind of risky and I'll talk about that later um, so I figured, you know what, I'm just going to cook them all up at once, pickle some eggs, and just uh, give them maybe like one a day. And this is just a very simple brine, half apple cider vinegar, half water, and a tablespoon of salt. And that's in this big old gallon jug here. So, yeah, I didn't get all of them peeled. Whoops. Just exactly right, but that's okay. Look at all these beautiful eggshells. Yeah, I'm going to let them get nice and dry, and then I'll break them up. Look at the green eggs are green on the inside too. Yeah, so nothing goes to waste. Now let's talk about why I don't feed raw eggs to my dogs. The first one is pretty obvious, salmonella. It can cause things like fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and lethargy if the animal becomes infected with it. The second reason is biotin deficiency. Raw egg whites contain avidin, an enzyme that's known to bind to biotin in the small intestine, preventing its absorption. Biotin is a vitamin that supports healthy skin, metabolism, cells, and digestion. I'll leave a couple links in the description box below so you all can go check it out for yourself. But the egg yolk has a whole lot of biotin in it, so that may be the reason why some folks think it's okay just to feed the whole egg in its uncooked form because the biotin is there in the egg yolk. But I figure, why take a chance? I'm going to go ahead and cook it. So I'm always cooking eggs for myself and for the chickens outside. So I figure, you know what, I, I can just throw a few more in the pot and cook them up and feed them to the dogs every now and again along with their food. It's packed with vitamins and minerals and protein, lots of stuff that's good for dogs. It's not good to feed them only eggs. <laughs> they need lots of other stuff too. But, but if you are feeding raw eggs to your dogs and um, it's okay with your vet, and if you've had some success, well, more power to you. Just watch for things like um, problems with their coat, uh, their skin itching, hair falling out, and stuff like that. Because it may be the raw egg whites that's the culprit. Who knows? But I'm just going to play it safe. So, anyway, um, I think it's time to go check and see how many more eggs I got today. Alright, let's start in this little pen. I pulled this box over here from on the porch. Yep, I got me one in here. Two huge ones in the filing cabinet. That's a mama egg and a... Cocoa egg. Now remember in here, there were only five. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in there. Oh my gosh. So it's 13 eggs. Not all of them laid today. I think uh, I think five or six of them were laid yesterday. But that's quite a haul. These two beautiful babies are doing just fine. And I have already decided I am going to give them both to Lena at Red Road Homestead if she wants them. Lena just texted me. Yep, she's gonna take both the Moran's chickens. I think it's one rooster and one hen. And so yeah, they'll be in good hands. Yay! Okay, I was just over at my neighbor's. I, I'm letting them my post pounder. UPS guy came up and I'm not, well, actually somebody had told me that they were sending me something, so this may be it. Here it is. You know what time it is? Okay, this is taped really good, so I may have to start and stop. I think, I think this is from Mary. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, she told me she had something on the way, so I'm just going to rip into this, open it up, and show you what it is. Okay, I got a note right here. I'm going to read it. Oh my gosh, it's a long one. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to get back with you. Nah, I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Um... First of all, this is what it looks like. <laughs> She's awesome. I will not leave you nor forsake you, Joshua 1 verse 5. He is always there, dear Anne. I know how much you love jalapeno jelly. Oh my gosh, and I must say that after this batch, 
I'm a fan too. I could have made it a little bit hotter. They were water bath and should stay in your pantry for up to a year. Oh my gosh. I threw in some more shell shell stable goodies. I would suggest you transfer the oh my gosh, minestrone beans with spices to a mason jar with OA. I don't even know what that is. I made a pot of this delicious soup for my son and I um okay I, I'm just gonna finish it and come back. Oh my gosh, she included sardines. And then she goes on, and her last uh, paragraph is, And you are strong in the Lord. Do not let the evil one steal your joy. Call upon Jesus when you feel stressed or anxious. Absolutely. For he is the defender of our faith and everything in between. Love in Christ, Mary. Thank you so much. And then she ends with the verse, Isaiah 12, verse 3. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It is jam-packed full of stuff. So let's get into this. First of all, she sent me seeds. Carrots. Beets. I'm going to have to look into these. Blue Lake Heirloom Pole Beans. Oh, yeah. Kentucky Wonder Heirloom Pole Beans. Here we go, folks. Minestrone Soup. Beans. I love, love mixed bean soup. This is going to be delicious. Check this out. Applesauce. I love it. Love it. American grown apples. Delicious. Paper. A bunch of instant cream of wheat. Cereal. Love it. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Devil's food cake mix. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to cook this. And then there's all this other stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. Sardines. I do like them. I like them on salty and crackers. But also that the chickens like them. Another can. Two cans. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is this? Dates, coconut rolls, non-GMO. Oh my gosh. It's a sweet treat. It's a sweet treat, you guys. And then, a huge batch of jalapeno pepper jelly. And I love these little jars because it's just me eating it. And I don't need to open up a big old jar. I can sit, I probably sit and eat this whole jar on saltine crackers in one sitting. And look at, she sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. Sorry, I'm not holding the camera very steady, but I'm excited. All right, I gotta try one of these dates, coconut rolls things. I don't know if she made these, but. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So good. It's like eating candy. Oh, mmm. So satisfying. Oh my goodness. Mmm. I had to have another one of those date thingies. They are delicious. I've never had anything like that before. Very, very good. Thank you so much, Mary. You're so thoughtful. All of that stuff. Oh, I can use all of it. And I definitely will. Definitely the seeds. Oh, I am looking forward to planting those in the ground somewhere. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about some plans that I have for. Well, a bunch of logs I got stacked up all over the place. Anyhow, thank you, Mary. Love you, girl. And, um, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.